to me. I open the pace, they talk to me. Come on now, group walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. Yeah, I was shot, pay the cost, homie. He the boss man, he got up on the cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross. Yeah, yeah. I open the pages, they talk to me. Come on now, bro, walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. Yeah, I was shy, pay the cost on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. And you look like George Foreman's brother, man. You sure you're not related to George Foreman? Oh, yeah, okay. You got no teeth. Oh, that's hey, hey, still, but you know, by the face, you still look like him. You got no teeth. George had teeth. Hey. He got a couple of knocked out. That's all good, bro. That's what can happen. You take it easy, though, bro. Yeah, man. All these people, man, they hate our guts, man. So what's wrong with us doing what we do to them, man? What's wrong with us preaching, preaching this, 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 this gospel to them, man? Letting them know their, their, their judgment, man. Well, let me make a disclaimer. I'm not telling Israelites to go yeah, anywhere, man, yeah, exactly. steal any damn exactly. thing. Exactly. We're not, we're not saying go do any of that. Because it would be unwise, but according to the law, exactly. you're only not supposed to steal from, from another, another Israelite. Exactly, bro. You know? Matter of fact, know? get, get in, um... Get in the Old Testament where we robbed thee, where we spoiled yeah, the Egyptians. Egyptians. Get that. Just so we can have some type of biblical precedent for what we're saying. Hey, bro. I see you standing over there, man. You you can come listen if you want to. What's your nationality on your father's side? Well, see, first of all, I'm African American. Okay, no, I'm not. But I mean, like, your nationality, not your not your religious the, the denomination. Uh, Which, I, say, I say your nationality, like your ethnicity. Uh, you gotta explain that to me. You lost. Okay, so like, would you be considered African American? Would you could be considered a Jamaican, a Haitian? Like, do that, man. I got something on my side to stop okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, boss. Yeah, like, so like, would you be like, would you be? I'm talking about patrilineally now to your father, right? Would you be considered like an African American, a Jamaican, Haitian, Cuban? What would you be considered? Like, what would you consider you know, yourself? When we come down to that, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kind of go over here. Uh huh. I'm just one of them niggas that just came out of bondage. Uh huh. That's still in slavery. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, I agree. That's the only thing they can do is they gave us a job. They finished the way. Yeah. They still. Uh huh. So see, I don't consider myself as nothing, but a man still trying to get through. Okay. So okay. So, okay. Okay. Let me ask you this: Were your people brought here on slave ships? No. How your people get here? By boat. Okay. Well, I mean, what you mean? Like you mean like a banana boat or something? No. My people came here on a boat. And my people walk across the wall. Okay, so you'll be considered an Israelite then. Right? Okay, I'm a person of the most hard here. You know, we Israelites too, man. Well, I'm just saying. Uh-huh. See, I can't give it all to you at one time. I gotta give it to you at least about I got you. I got you. You know, so like so like, did you know? Did you know that us us coming us coming to slavery by boat was in the Bible? Yes. You knew that all praise yes. to the most high, man? Yes. Okay, so 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 you say like you say you a Christian or apostolic or something like that? No, I'm just walking. Okay. Okay. I'm just a servant. Got you. Right now, I have made it to the point where I'm a prophet. Okay. And I can't step up to deliver this word until I'm all the way, all the way right myself. Okay, got you. It's all. It, I still got one something. Down. Okay, what's that? Cigarettes. Okay, okay. All right. You, you have to be down low, man. I can't step up myself and deliver this word. Mm -hmm. If you, yeah. I ain't right myself. Yeah, that's right. That's true. You see, mm -hmm. I gotta be right from the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. You see, mm -hmm. cause when the message is over and the service is closed out. If somebody want to come in the office and speak with elder weeks, I got to be able to cut them where they need to be cut, yeah. even if they don't like it. Either cut them or, or edify them. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, so that's where I'm at. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Look, look, I'm going to show you something real quick. Read that. This Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13. 
I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Do so all things through Christ, all man. Things. If you believe, all if things. if you really, really want to reach that potential that you want to oh, reach, yeah. you're going to have to drop them cigarettes, man. Hey, we know this. Through, hey, how? But through fasting and prayer, man. You got to fast and pray, man. If you really want to get that I demon off you, go ahead and fast and pray. I got my own prayer clock. And recently here, that prayer did switch. Mm -hmm. It used to be only from 2 or 1 in the morning to 5 a.m. Yeah, you got to pray without season. I would have to do that. And now, it is flipped. Mm -hmm. All right? It, it, it told me that I could be at home and have to go in the trial. Hey, man. Because look, you see the thing is, the scriptures talk about how it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yeah. So you gotta walk that tight rope. So like you, like any little thing you feel like you are gonna get put to death for it, you immediately just gotta just repent. You gotta be repenting every day. I wanna say something to you about holding on. Mm -hmm. I was speaking with a young lady, and she got on the subject about holding on. Mm -hmm. I told her, well, I'm climbing this mountain. Okay. I'm at the top of this mountain. I'm going to look over this mountain, but I ain't going over. Because it's a boat where I can reach. And there's a big rock tied right in the middle of it. Well, I can talk to you. She told me, say, Mr. I said, yeah, man. Hey, you gotta. Hey, it's that. It's the, the scriptures say, uh, narrow is the way, man. Straight is the path. You, you gotta, you gotta walk that straight and narrow path. I like to call it a tightrope. Uh huh. They don't like. Yeah, that's true. The Bible tells you that. Uh huh. When you start walking that straight path, they not with it. Yeah, they not with it. The scriptures even tell you that. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't have no more family. This is my family right here. I know. I know this. I know mm -hmm. this. But, but all my family is still on the God side. Mm -hmm. See, I'm reaching for the night. See, because everything I didn't did on the right hand, now I didn't did everything on the right hand. Mm -hmm. Now I'm expecting this hand where I can put both of them. Yeah. Okay. I get strong. Let me show you something. The seed being Let me show you something. Let me show you. Read this. Sirach chapter five and seven. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. You can't. You can't make tearing to turn. To, you got to hurry up and make turn. So if them cigarettes is advice to you, you gonna have to hurry up, man. Because because hey. He ain't gonna wait on me exactly, man. And and, and and let's be honest, man. You or you you are older you are older man, man. Tomorrow your, your tomorrow is if if our tomorrow is not promised, yours is really not. You know. Uh huh. Read. And put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security. Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Hey, hey, and you gonna be so and, and you gonna be calling so on the man. Lord and the Lord not gonna answer, man. Hey, not gonna answer. You know? What's your other precept? This is Sirach chapter two, verse six. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, yes, lest ye fall. So you gotta if you believe in the Lord, you fear the most high? Hey man, you hey like like the brother said, man, you can do all things in Christ, man. So hey, so if you truly, truly fear the most high, if you really truly if 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 you if you fear your king, right, as well, who who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, you gonna do what they tell you to do, man. No? So it's high time to throw them squares away, man. I didn't uh huh. Oh, six a day? Okay. 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 Be told in the house. Mm -hmm. I might just take it up by the pool pit, lay it down. 
You know, yeah, because like, look, I never, I, I, I smoked, I smoked squares a long time ago. But my thing, like before, before, before I opened up this Bible, was smoking weed. Like I used to smoke weed. I, I probably used to smoke like seven, eight blunts a day, right? But when I heard this, like when I heard this truth, I think I dumped it down to like maybe like three a day. But when I finally met this brother right here, I cut it out, bro. Stopped it like completely. Like, I'm like, I can't. I can't, I can't teach people to stop smoking if I'm doing it. I'm my own worst enemy. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody I'm around. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, I'm my own worst enemy. I know that. Uh-huh. And I'm walking through it. And it's hard. Yeah. With all this other stuff that I'm working with. Because, see, people, people actually come to me. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let me show you. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna show you some. I'm, let me show you this real quick. Read. It's the book of Sirach, chapter fourteen and verse five. He that is evil to himself. You say that that smoking cigarettes is evil. Let me show you. Read. To whom will he be good? And will he be good? Right. You can't. You can't. You can't dish out knowledge to somebody if you if you're not being kind to yourself. You gotta, you, you gotta be a better friend to yourself. Like, like, like I said, like I said, that's why I can't go through what I've been told. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know it. Yeah, man. I know it. He got me. He got me. He got me. He got me. You know? Uh huh. Yeah. Let me show you this. Read. Uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, serve the Lord, right? Read. Prepare thy soul for temptation. You're about to prepare your soul for temptation, right? Because when we in the world, when we don't under like when we don't know that this Bible is talking about us, we're gonna walk in a way that is not. It's not temptation. It's not temptation for me to smoke weed. It's not temptation for me to have sex with another man's girl. But once I read this Bible and I understand that what I'm doing is wrong. Now everything is a temptation now, right? That hey, hey, now now that exactly now that weed smells a little bit too good, right? You feel me? Like it's 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 it's, it's a tempting it's, it's a tempting thing. Uh huh. It's a it's hey man like hey it's 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 nothing but a it's nothing but a, a, a everyday battle. That's the reason why the scriptures talk about you have to die daily, man. You gotta kill you you gotta continually kill that old man like so every day you should be a better version of yourself you know you know you know how these cell phones every once in a while they come out with a new update right we should every morning we should have a new update every morning just trying to be better you know every day exactly right because 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 you could come out that door and it could be it, 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 it could be the last day exactly bring that out in Ecclesiastes to uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Whoever get it. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. No, 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 that's all right. Okay, read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Remember the Lord in the days of your youth, read. Because how old, how old are you? I consider I consider 70 to be like officially old. So you still you still you know, a young man, you know? You you can still knock a nigga out, you know? <laughs> While the evil days come not. While the evil days come not, right? While there's still a chance for you to draw air on this earth without having to, you know, lose your life, right? Nor the years draw nigh. Years draw nigh, for you be old as hell, read. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. For, hey, for you say, hey man, my feet hurt, my back hurt. I'm not thinking about that Bible, man. You know, my eyes going dim. I don't think about that Bible. You got to remember the Lord today, man. Today. Today, man. So, hey, hey, you done ran into us. You know, you know you're an Israelite. More than likely you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, the top tribe of, of Israel. The same tribe that Christ comes from. Right? It's time to repent and come back to these laws, bro. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. 
So you so You talking about you talking about the pandemic? I mean, they yeah, but 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 do you see the love that started on circulating in that wasn't there? I mean, I mean, like uh, I feel like that whole Black Lives Matter thing has gotten to a point where it's like everybody's about it. But even that Black Lives Matter thing, man, I'm I'm not even with that. It is trash. Yeah, exactly. Like, like if, like if, if we really, really, really about that black unity, black power, black all of that, we will move in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a better way. We, the way, the way we move is too. It's not. So I'm not with that Black Lives Matter stuff at all. No, but let me show you something real quick. Let, let me ask you something. Do you can, are you able to grow a beard or do you shave it? Beard, right? Okay. Okay. What about your? Well, Okay, so you shave. All right, let me show you something real quick. That's a transgression of the laws of God, man. You can't, you're not supposed to shave. Okay, well, well, you know that the Bible compares the the Israelite man to a lion, right? So, 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 how can you know what a lion look like if the lion ain't got no mane? Yeah. Right. You see, you see all these brothers up here. We all got beards. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. If I if I did not, uh -huh. I would be all the way down. Yeah, hey, hey, but let it grow, man. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Read. It's out the law. This out of the actual Torah. Read. Leviticus 21 and 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. You should, not, you should not make boldness upon your head. Now, if you naturally go bald, that's a whole different story. But if, but if, but if you have hair and you literally like, like, like Tupac Shakur, right? Tupac, could, Tupac had a whole hair. He had hair. He had a whole hairline and everything. But what did he used to, he used to literally shave, put baldness upon his head. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Yeah, you're not supposed to shave the corners. Or you're not supposed to shave your beard. Now you can trim it. You can trim it down. But to put a razor upon your head or your beard, you're not supposed to do it. Grow your beard, cause the, cause cause we cause we are lions. I have this stuff they don't do it. Uh huh. I'm gonna kiss my butt. That ain't mine. Okay. You still got time, man. I have this stuff they don't have. Oh, I got time. 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 I got you should look at yourself in the mirror and say, all praises to the most high, right? Yeah. You should look in the mirror and say, I'm a lion. I'm a king and a god. It'd be, it be, it be so great. Hey, but hey, but hey, great hair, I, hey, no, great no, hair I'm shows saying, wisdom. I'm just saying, it'd be so great. Mm-hmm. Not just hair. Uh-huh. But all over. Oh, hey man, I wish all my hair was great. I mean, all, <laughs> oh, I mean, all over. I mean, like, that hey, that's a, it's, it's a glorious thing though man to have I'm telling you I like the day I saw a gray hair growing on my beard man I sent I, I sent it to all, all of them man I was happy as hell when I saw it man it's a little, it's just a little strain I was happy <laughs> hold on uh, what you got is that your, that's not your buzz out okay give me um give me that give me act 7 and 48 you got a you got, you got a preset all right reach a preset it's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Man, you, you don't want to find an excuse according to your will, right? So you, you want to do what the Bible says, because a sin, a sin, according to the Bible, is transgression of the law. 
right? So if you transgress in the law, you gonna make excuses, right? You say that you know your hair gonna grow if you let it go. That's 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 saying that that you want that you looking for excuses. You don't wanna look for any, for no excuses, right? We, we gotta. Um, I remember when I was a little boy. Uh huh. When I was a little boy, some people think I don't do it. Hey, hey, man, he was in the skirt. What's going on, bro? What's going on? In the house, uh -huh. trying to chew, uh -huh. when they got, uh -huh. so they probably wanted to try to get uh -huh. it. Yeah. You, yeah, you, you, you can try to chew, you can try to chew, but don't, don't cut, cut it off, though. Cut it off. Try to chew, you can reach relate. This car is fucking up. Yeah, because I had oak, you know. Man, been there 30 years. Oh, 11 years old. 11 years old. One of my brothers, and his own chip, chip out of the color. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in some of the chair. Uh, chair, the chair, there. And he slipped his whole head down. Chair. Right? Because, uh, not doing he chair, right? Mm -hmm. the chair. Oh, my house. Mm -hmm. And, uh, playing the organ. Yeah. His brother turned his hair. Pop came home. Look at him. He beat that boy out of the Damn. I just sat around the corner. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what's crazy? I just, I was watching like snippets of the, like, the Malcolm X movie with Denzel Washington. And like, when, like he, because he had got his hair relaxed or whatever. And like right after he got his hair relaxed, he looked in the mirror and he was like, "Do it look? Do it look? Do I look white? Do I look white?" Because he like so like people people like get their hair like relaxed and stuff so that they can have that wavy hair like and they can feel like you know the so-called white man. They basically yeah they basically env like envying their oppressor, which is basically going off as well. Like because the scripture said we're not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to be like the heathen. You know? Yeah, preacher. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I got a piece of it. It's the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 10, and verse 4. Wherefore Hanan took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards yeah, and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. Yeah, man. So so this is the during the time of David, right? Hanan, the Ammonite, right? He basically took David's men and, like, cut their beards off and, like, literally, like, tore, like, you know, torn their clothes right all the way down to their to their butt, right? Which which, which is also a cut to sagging. But um, you can see like their beard was a was a sign of, of, of dignity. And when and when they cut their beard, show when it, uh, like what happened after their beard got cut. Read. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. Greatly ashamed because they didn't have a beard anymore, right? But nowadays, because we see that the that the heathen shaved their beard. We want to be like that, but these, these men, these powerful men, these gods, these Israelites, these Jews, right? Their 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 beards were cut, and they were greatly ashamed. Yeah, but who are those Jews? Are those Jews? Are those Jews so-called Caucasians, or are they black men? Okay, but those, because those are the real Jews, right? If you see those damn Orthodox, what they call them, what's the name of them Jews that, uh, Hasidic. If you, if you see the Hasidic Jews with them beards, them, those are the Jewish people, man. They're not the real people of God. Those are converts. Those are people that, uh, basically, uh, uh live in our land today based on prophecy. They're not, they're not the true chosen people of God, right? They don't even keep all the law, <laughs> you know? Okay, yeah, but, all my brothers. Man. Yeah, all praise to the Most High, man. You were Israelite. You were real. You you were, you were true God on earth. You were king. You were all of that, man. You just gotta repent and be converted. Come back to these laws, man. Put them cigarettes down, man. That's right. You got you say. All praise to the Most High, man. You take it easy, bro. All praises, man. That's what we all here to do, man. That's what we all.